Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Aries out there. So if you have Aries as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all of my Aries out there, so it might not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So before I get started, um, I do apologize if you're able to recognize like a difference in phone quality. I'm actually using um, someone else's phone right now because my phone kept running out of storage, so for the sake of um, my readings that I want to do today, um, I had to result, or f fortunately I have another phone to result to in order to film these readings. So I do apologize if any like quality is lower than usual or as expected. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with some messages from your person. I've been meaning to tell you something my trust is broken. It's your physical and your energy. So, so far, Aries, and we'll know more with the cards next to come. Um, first, starting off with it's your physical and your energy. This is you, Aries. I feel like your person really admires the type of balance you have between just the balance you have, maintaining being your, your own person, um, the strive that you have, the goals that you have, like, I feel like you, and you Aries, you carry that energy where you have it together, or at least you have things that you're focused on, and because you're focused on them, you're moving towards that, moving towards them. So, and to match that, it's like, your determination is beautiful, but also your exterior, like the exterior matches who you are on the inside and that's just beautiful. So I feel like your person recognizes that about you and that's like one of the main thing, things that stand out to them. We do have, I've been meaning to tell you something and my trust is broken. For these two cards, I'm getting two different energies so far. Um, I feel like these two cards could be specifically towards your, like, from your person and how they've been feeling. They could feel the need to vent to you about something. Um, they may have been keeping something from you. This doesn't have to be bad or it might not even concern you, but it's something that might be going on in their own personal life that is happening behind the scenes. And depending on the communication that you two have, maybe you, Aries, you've been kind of noticing little things that like you wonder if there's something more that your person might not be telling you um but i feel like they with they withhold from this information because we have my trust is broken um whatever they're dealing with maybe venting or wanting to vent to you about they hope that when they explain it and express it to you aries that you won't become disinterested in them or you won't run away from this connection. I feel like your person is just holding back because they don't want to ruin anything or they don't want something to come to light and it's too much for you and you maybe change your mind about things. But also for you Aries, um, with the I've been meaning to tell you something and my trust is broken, I feel like if there has been something your person has told you, you could feel betrayed depending on what it is that they told you. Um, I feel like 
you want them to be upfront and honest with you from the start. Those are your expectations because that's what you've been giving them. So depending on what it is, this might have broken your trust with them. I do what I want. It's my vices. I'm trying. So with the it's my vices, I do feel like this is your person's energy. What I consider a vice is something that someone retreats back to that tends to be low vibrational, that tends to not get them where they really want to be. Um, it's like an escapism type of thing. Um, so it's like when your person, if they are dealing with like trust issues or just feeling lonely, isolated, I feel like when they feel those feelings or they feel self-doubt, they might choose to go towards their vices and not really focus on the bigger picture and what they want for themselves and even this connection. So that could have been something that maybe caused distance within this connection. We do have I do what I want. I feel like this is a mutual energy for you Aries you do what you want like as far as you're not going to put up with what you think you don't deserve you're not going to accept less than so it's like you feel as if they should be honest with you but if they're not willing to do that then you're going to honor yourself and keep it going um, but I feel like this is also your person's energy because it's more of a stubborn thing. Like, they might know that they want to change some things about themselves for the better, but it's it's like they're choosing not to. Um, and then I'm trying. So your person might be, like, back and forth in this connection um, as far as, like, you noticing them, Aries, like, paying it more attention, giving it more effort here and there. Like... It's very sporadic in a way. I do feel like they know that they want to get a, get a hold of what they feel like is dragging them down, but at the same time, it's not so easy. Um, even if they have the idea that they want to completely get rid of it, um, it's like it's easier not to. It's easier to just keep doing what they've been doing. Um, even if they know that if they were to change some things, it would be better for them um so with the I've been meaning to tell you something your person might come clean about what they run to in times of doubt or when they feel alone or I feel like they might be just venting to you about what is actually happening with them their reality and maybe like expressing to you how they do want to be better I make my own decisions. I'm only nice to you. I'm building myself up for this connection. So I still feel like there's a stubborn energy here with I make my own decisions. This is more mutual. Um, I feel like your person isn't going to be ready until they're ready. It's going to take a turning point or just like um, like an epiphany or I forgot the, the term for it, but just like, like something that sparks in their mind and they're like, okay, this is a wake up call. Yeah. They're going to have a wake up call. Um, but it's all, it's all on their own timing in a way. We do have, and then for you, Aries, I make my own decisions. This is you saying true, like I do what I want. This is you saying true to what you know you want and you deserve, and you're not going to accept anything less than. But I do feel like you may have given your person the benefit of the, of the doubt. Maybe you've noticed like a few slip ups with them before, but you're like, I do have interest in my person, so why not give it another chance? We have them only nice to you. I feel like if it wasn't for your person and if someone else was maybe bringing you through this, you would have already backed away, but there's something about them that 
you might even want to help them um and also with the it's my vices and your person trying to realize that they want to make a change or they need to make a change in order to see the better of themselves and for the bigger picture i feel like with the it's your physical and your energy they admire um your they admire you aries and they admire they kind of view you as like the opposite of them and like they think about if i were to make changes i could be more level with aries because i do feel like they know they have a lot of growing to do and then lastly with the i'm building myself up for this connection that has to do with the growing that they would like to eventually make um in order to better themselves and in order for this connection to work for the long run so i do feel like they're trying to snap out of um that low vibrational energy or those tendencies that they that they do i have big dreams for us i know what to do to make it happen i know you can't wait forever but it won't take long so i feel like this is your person's energy they do have dreams they aspire to be something different than what they are now but it's also more of like when are they actually going to be ready um and with when it comes to stuff like that it really as as much as you motivate them aries that could for sure help them but it's more of like a personal decision to change um so we have i know you can't wait forever but it won't take long i feel like in a way aries you you may have been waiting or just trying to see how things pan out um but right now there might be some distance or like miscommunication mishaps and you Aries you're still staying focused on what's meant for you and what you already have going on but at the same time your interest in your person does make you think about them and maybe wonder about them and consider what will it take in order to make it work um and you might not exactly know everything that they're going through but i feel like your person is like emerging from a realization or going through something or at least having some conflicting thoughts where they know that they need a change but it's whether or not they're ready for it yet but yeah that's all i do have for my aries today i hope it resonates please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you next time bye